Today I was scrolling through itch.io to see what games I could play because I was bored, bored. So I came across this game called Incredibox Sprunky. And I'm like, I love Incredibox. For those who don't know what Incredibox is, it's a, like a little website game where you can put hats on people and they start to make music, they, may, they start singing. So I got a little bit excited to try it. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna show you right now what Incredibox is. This is Incredibox. So you cry out the game. Okay, so here we have like our little guys there that are naked. We have to drag and drop an icon to have them singing. So we have them. Yeah. So each one does something different. So, so that's basically it. Like you have little characters, then you can put hats on them, and they start singing. That's cool. I love that, and I have known about this since, since like 2015. So I've been a pretty big fan of them. So when I came across this, this itch.io page about Incredibox Prunky, I was like, oh my god, because it's it's pretty common for people to mod Incredibox. So people make their own customs. I let it load and I keep click play and here we have all the little characters. So I started like mixing and matching to have them like do stuff. So I said, okay, it sounds pretty good, it's not that good and because it feels like it's made on paint, but it's uh, it's fine. I I I I don't like how the music cuts off. So I start testing all of these little characters, what each one does. I see like some of the inspiration. It's from, like from Happy Tree Friends. I say, okay, that's that's kind of fine. So what happened is when I tried this hat, I was curious to see what it did. I like put it here, and this is the shit I got. What the fuck is this? So they all stay like that. So I wanted to try another fucking shit, and like start placing them, and they are like corrupted. It's disturbing. And I was like, what the fuck? And the music now is actually pretty good. Did that guy just went up with his rope? So I was like, okay. I like it. I like horror. I didn't expect it. Expect it. I didn't expect it. So I was like, oh, okay, that's really cool. And now it actually sounds good. So I start going down and I see like, they have a pretty decent fan base. I see the... <laughs> The chat from itch.io and it's all people like sharing their characters. So I keep just scrolling down, I see like people make their OCs. This is like gacha life shit. And they make like their OCs. Her name is Crystal, by the way. She's dead. <laughs> and this reminds me of back in the day when people used used to be like teens and or Jung and made creepypasta fanfics and they insert themselves in creepypastas. So see, they're putting that in gacha life and I'm starting to think these people are not <laughs> are not adults. These are kids. 
so I decided to click one of the names from from the people that are, are talking here, especially Kim. I was like, why the fuck do you have Loli on your name? And she's active right now. This is what fucking surprised me. A uh, Roblox game screenshot. I was like, oh my god. Is this targeted for kids? So I look up Sprunky on Google. They have like an actual website where they have like a bunch of Incredibox mods, which I think is very cool. But I didn't know that Sprunky in specific was this scary flash ass thing. I decide to look up again Sprunky on Google images and I realize there's like actually a decent fan base but i i think what the fuck how did that happen did you see that i clicked this image and another image loaded how is that possible and there's a lot of this there's a lot of this why why does this keep happening who the fuck is this guy they're treating it like it's the new kids thing and i'm and i'm scared because honestly, kids shouldn't be exposed to this. Yeah, back in the day when creepypastas were a thing and people used to make their own things like this, it wasn't aimed for kids. It was clearly aimed for a ma more mature audience called the teenagers, like mostly teenagers that were kind of mature but not mature enough to understand what the fuck is happening. I, I remember watching like a show called um, creepypasta high school from from this animator who used to do like animations from in paint about creepypasta so they were they were all clearly clearly teenagers and the point of making these animations was to be targeted to a similar audience being teenagers with Spronky and all those creepy things I'm seeing recently I'm seeing that they're clearly targeted towards kids You as a kid you get more curious to see more, more and more You're gonna end up watching gore You're gonna end up watching gore from a little, little gaming game So we are at Roblox right now We're gonna try and find Spronky games Oh my god this may contain scary details. How old are you? Look, look. There's how many people are joining? Are these bots? Are these actual people? I feel disturbed. I wanna I wanna check out the Sprunky pages. Look how many things about Sprunky. There are dandies. Hey, hey, hey! This is what I what I saw earlier in Roblox. Yes. What is dandy though? Wait, is that ex is that exactly the same music? It's the exact same music. Warning! This game contains sensitive content. That is, what? Okay, the red dots are infected, the green dots are safe, the orange are BEWARE! <laughs> and gray are rejected. Else, I didn't make it too scary for a reason because I don't want to scare little kids. Little kids shouldn't be even watching this! I, I'll play all the safe ones. Are you telling me? Are you telling me? Are you telling me that's not scary? That's even scarier than the original! Ugh, it's just disturbing. What does gray mean? Oh my god. What are you a punching bag? Why do you hack like that? Okay, now we go with to the danger dangerous one. That's supposed to be scary. <laughs> I just look like a like a nerd emoji. Just look like this guy. <coughs> they just have elongated faces, that's not scary. This motherfucker is scary. What do you mean you don't wanna scare kids? Get away! Ugh. Okay, I don't want to play this one anymore. Ugh, it's so ugh. What about this one? What? What is he doing there? It's so off tune. 
booty? No! Is this Sonic? Oh my god. What is this? What the fuck? I don't know where the sound is from though. So, so it was such a mess. Why you, are you still? Hi, Jesus, Slurpee, Catholic, Bethel, Jesus, Rhythm, and Dance along with us. Hi, Jesus, Slurpee, Catholic, Bethel, Sing along with us right now. Oh my god, it's because it actually sounds kind of good. Hi, Jesus, Slurpee, Catholic, Bethel, Sing along with us. Hi, Jesus, Slurpee, Catholic, Bethel, Sing along with us right now. Okay, I'm done. What the fuck? That scared me so bad. Shut up. I'm done with that one. That actually spooked me. They have LinkedIn? Who wants to do business with you? This is a flower from that one video. <laughs> yeah, I actually scared to press the button. Uh, I don't fucking know. Uh, everyone in here. How do I how do I find your best friends? William. It's William. It's William. Yay. Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Okay, oh my god, I think I'm done. Okay guys, that was like my deep dive into what the kids are up to these days. And let me tell you, it's not that, it's not safe. It's not that fun. It's disturbing. It's so fucking scary. I don't want to see it anymore. I don't want to do another video on this. But if you guys say, I want to, I want to see more, I want to see more. Then maybe, then maybe I will do it. Uh, catch you guys in the next video.